Hello, my name is Patrick Allen, and I'm the first proposition speaker in this debate. I believe that a political party should be able to issue themselves more power than they were originally given to the students in transition. The transition occurs when a country's political system changes. An example of a, of a system in transition is when dictator Hosni Mubarak was put into prison, and the country moved towards a democracy after Mohamed Morsi became president. I'll bring up three points that defend my position, and they will be derived from the Egyptian revolution. My first point is that leaders should be able to give themselves more power than originally given during times of political transition when it is necessary. Political transition creates unrest in a society, and a leader should be able to give themselves more power to cause the nation to become stable once again. After Morsi was elected, he gave himself powers to rule over all the national courts. These were powers that were not originally given to him. According to NewYorkTimes.com, Morsi gave himself these powers in order to end the transition of Syria as soon as possible in order to create stability. My second point is that leaders have the right to give themselves more power in order to fulfill the needs of their people. The people of Egypt demanded justice in their country, and they wanted a democracy. Morsi was going to do whatever it took to fulfill those needs. When the people of the country need, demand justice, it should be the leader's first priority to make sure that, these dem that this demand is satisfied. According to NewYorkTimes.com, Morsi granted himself these powers to create a smooth transition into a constitutional democracy. My third point is that a great leader is not only a great leader for their country, but a role, but a role model for other countries around the world. When countries are in turmoil, they look at other leaders, for example, how to help their countries become stable. Israel and Hamas have been fighting for decades, along with Israel and many other Muslim countries. According to Telegraph.com, after Morsi granted himself more powers, he caused a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. According to HuffingtonPost.com, U.S. Um, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said at a Cairo press conference with Egypt's foreign minister announcing the accord, this is a critical moment for the region. I want to thank President Morsi for his personal leadership to de-escalate the situation in Gaza and to end the violence. Egypt's new government is assuming the responsibility and leadership that has long made this country a cornerstone of regional stability and peace. I've given three examples of how a political party has the right to issue themselves more power than originally given if the system is in transition. They have the right to do so if it is necessary and that if they are using these powers to fulfill the demands of their people. If the people are demanding justice and the courts are not able to get the, thing, the job done, the leader must take the matter into their own hands. Also, if they do not have, if they, have they have the right to issue themselves more power if they are trying to protect the transition of the political system. If a country is changing from a dictatorship to a democracy, they have the right to give themselves more power to make sure the transition goes as quickly and as smoothly as possible. A third example is when they are trying to help other neighboring countries. Thank you for listening.